Barnaby Jones, a Quinn Martin production, starring Buddy Ebsen. Also starring Lee Merriweather, Mark Shera, with guest stars Robin Matson, Daryl Fetty, Carol True Foster, special guest star Inga Swenson. Tonight's episode, Hitchhike to Terror. Tony. Hi, I'm Shelly. Where are you heading to, Shelly? L.A., downtown. Yeah. Well, you're in luck, beautiful mama. I'm gonna take you all the way. So you just sit back and relax. Fantastic. Speaking of relaxing, I got just a thing to help you along. Little, uh, Panama Red. Finest grass this side of the canal. No, no thanks. Hey, now, I, I don't say no till you feel the glow. That's right. Here you go. Roll us a goodie. Just went through a red light. Oh, no, now you've done it. Hang on. She's still breathing. Now, miss, don't move. We got an ambulance on the way. Oh, it hurts. Miss, look at my hand. How many fingers am I holding up? What? How many fingers? Two. All right, you understand me then? Yes, I'm all right. It's my duty to inform you that you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be held against you in a court of law. What? Why are you saying this? Because I believe this contains illegal drugs and I'm placing you under arrest. Arrest? But it's not mine. We'll have a chance to explain that later. Right now, is there anyone we can notify? Your mother? No, not my mother. Your father then. What's his name? Somebody will get in touch with him. Barnaby Jones. Barnaby Jones, the private investigator, is your father? That's what I said, Barnaby Jones. I'll come in and tell you when you relieve the... Uh... Yes, sir. Lieutenant, uh, how's the young lady? Uh, Shelley Barrett, have I got the name right? Yeah. Nothing broken. The doctor says she'll be up and about soon. And she claims that I'm her father? That's her story. Says she was hitchhiking here to see you when a young man in a van picked her up from Redondo Beach, ran a red light, cracked up, and then supposedly took off, leaving her literally holding the bag on a narcotics wrap. DMV come up with the name of the registered owner? 
Well, that's where it gets stickier. It's registered to a Stan Clay, federal narcotics agent. But he hadn't been heard from since he contacted his office early this morning about a possible bust. Is Shelly from Redondo Beach? Oh, San Pedro. An elderly couple, she says, picked her up there and dropped her in Redondo Beach. Uh, before I let you talk to her, is there anything you can tell me about all this? John, I'm as much in the dark as you are. Okay, talk to you later. Hello, Shelley. I'm Barnaby Jones. I'll be outside. Shelley? Shelley, what's this about? your problem is with me, but I've never seen you before in my life. I know. Never. Never in my whole life did my father ever come to see me. I was just some, some thing he made and forgot about. Now, wait. Um, first things first. Uh, you say I'm your father, but uh, you just didn't pick a name out of air. Why me? Believe me. I don't like the idea of it any more than you do. The only reason I came to find you is because of my mother. She needs your help, not me. Your mother? Yes, Marie Barrett. What'd you do, forget about her in 23 lousy nothing years? Marie Barrett? You're her daughter? And yours. You know it's true. Last Monday I found the letters you sent her. There was even a picture of the both of you holding hands. Shelley, I don't deny that I knew Marie Barrett. We were very good friends for a while. Look, Dad, you don't have to explain any of this to me. When you didn't show up for my first communion, I, I began to get the message. I began to understand what kind of a man you were. All I want for you to do is to help my mother. You owe us at least that much. All right, you keep saying your mother needs help. What kind of help does she need? She's in a private hospital. And she's doing good, Dr. Ashley says. But it costs. And if I don't come up with some more money, they're going to junk her in some state institution. Where is she now? She's in Windale Haven Sanitarium. It's in San Pedro. Windale? She in a mental hospital? Yes. That's all your fault. If you had just once, just once. Now, Shelley. Just go away. <laughs> Go away! Yes. Yes, Doctor. Yes, I realize you have regular visiting hours, but as I told you, this is really terribly important. Well, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hi, Barnaby. Oh, well, that was Dr. Ashley at the sanitarium. You can visit Marie Barrett any time after 1 o'clock. Good. How are you coming with a Conway report? Well, here it is, Barnaby. Except I'll tell you the truth. I don't really think the DA is going to act on Conway's accusation against his partner unless he makes it to a court reporter under oath. Well, I'll take care of it, Jedediah. I'd like to have it with me when I meet with the district attorney on Monday. You bet. So I'll always love you. What do you mean it couldn't be helped? That van was registered to a federal knock. It turns out to be missing. Now, what the hell have you been up to? It's like I'm telling you, Harry. When I opened the bag and showed him the stuff, he flashes a badge and pulls a gun. I made a grab for it and got lucky. Went off in his belly instead of mine. So you waste a knock. But then to steal his van. What could I do? I needed it to dump the body. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, Harry, wait. He's under a pile of junk in a construction site outside of San Pedro. I'm clean. You're clean, huh? Right. So if I could just get my hands on another pound of coke, I could... Tony, what about that girl that you said was in a van? She knows what you look like. So what if she does? I don't have a record. I don't have any mug shots they can show her. Yeah, and the way your luck's running, we'll have them soon enough. 
Now, she ever ties you in with that van, I could just see you making a deal by pointing a finger at me. Harry, I'd never do that. Oh, yes, you would. So take my advice. Get out of town. Start a new life. Very far away. Hey, hey, Harry, please, don't shut me off. I can fix it. As long as that girl can identify you, there's no way. Yes, there is. Believe me, I'll take care of it. Don't make me beg you, Harry. I've been one of your best dealers. Give me a break, huh? Tony, I've got to go south for a few days. And when I get back, either you or her better be out of the picture. Fair enough? Yeah. Good. Honey, I'm ready. What? Well, you said you'd have the money so we could pick up that new Western outfit we ordered for my act, remember? Not now. I got something I gotta take care of first. Thank you. Hello, Marie. Hello? It's Barnaby. surprised when I least expect you. Uh, uh, let me go freshen up. No, don't do that. Uh, you look just fine to me. Oh, they are beautiful. But I wish it was candy. <laughs> Lately, I seem to be hungry all the time. <laughs> don't tell Shelley, though. She thinks I'm putting on weight as it is. I just saw Shelley. She's pretty. Because she takes after her father. Come, sit down. You, you must be tired after a hard day. Marie, uh, Shelley is a very troubled girl. I, I know, I know. Barnaby, do you know what that daughter of ours has gone and done, do you? She's put the house up for sale. She's selling everything. She's even quit college to try and get a job. <laughs> she says we need money to help pay for doctors. Isn't that silly? I wish you'd have a talk with her. Heaven knows she won't listen to me anymore. Marie, do you remember when we last saw each other? Of course. I, I think it was Wednesday. It's been 23 years. 23 years? You left Los Angeles, and for a time we exchanged letters, and then you stopped writing. Remember? I remember that uh, you made Shelley a very sad little girl when you didn't come to her ninth birthday party. Or was that her tenth? I'm afraid I missed both of the parties. There's nothing to feel guilty about. Ever since Shelley was a little girl and first started asking why you were away so much, I always explained to her that private investigators are always away <laughs> working on cases. Ever since she was a little girl. You will talk to her about not selling the house. Yes, I'll talk with her. Oh, darling. I just don't know what Shelley and I would have done without you all these years. Marie, don't worry about anything. Everything's going to be all right. <gasps> Yeah, that's right. Shelly Barrett. Uh, she's a cousin on my mother's side. I understand she was brought to your hospital, and we'd like to know how she's doing. She's doing fine, but she can't have visitors, at least not for another few days. I'd like to send her a little something. What's her room number? We're not allowed to give out that information. As I told you, this is a police matter. Yeah, right. Well, I guess it would be better if I checked with them first. Much obliged. What happened? Honey, what's the matter? That song's getting on my nerves. I've been learning it. It's the one you wanted me to sing for the audition. What audition? For Mr. Wilkerson at Solitaire Records. 
The audition's tomorrow, remember? And if you keep changing the songs... Hey, look, um... I, I, I talked to Mr. Wilkerson before, and, uh... He has to fly off to Nashville for a couple of weeks. One of his acts is having trouble. Another postponement? Yeah, well... Solitaire ain't the only record company in town. I've been talking to other labels, and I'll tell you all about it tonight. Oh, other labels? Which ones? When? Said tonight. The autopsy report on my desk as soon as the coroner's finished. get my message? No. Uh, is it Shelley? She take a turn for the worse? No, but the charges against her have. Stan Clay, narcotics agent, has been found dead. Where? Construction site near San Pedro. Shot to death with a 38 caliber weapon. You find a gun? No. And unless Shelley tells us where she hid it, we may never find it. Oh, come on, Lieutenant. You don't really believe that that girl in there got the better of a professional, killed him? disposed of the body, and then drove away in his van, do you? Maybe I do, and maybe I don't. But unless she comes up with an alibi that makes sense, it's some hotshot over in the DA's office who will have to decide what to believe, not me. Mind if I talk to her again? Hope you have better luck than me. It's all right. Uh, we have to stay in the room from now on, Mr. Jones. The lieutenant's orders. I understand. Oh, Shelley, I uh, just visited your mother. That's nice. Your medal will arrive in the mail. Now, see here, young lady. I understand how you feel. But being rude is not going to help the situation one bit. Is my mother going to be transferred to a state hospital? Or is she going to stay with Dr. Ashley? And that's another thing we better get straight. There is nothing wrong with the state hospital. For my mother, there is. It's taken over four months for Dr. Ashley to crack that shell she's built around herself. If she's transferred away from him, she'll have to start all over again with another doctor. Well, you finally found something we can agree on. That's why I arranged for her to stay at Wendale. You did? At least for a while. After that, we'll see. Okay. I, I guess I'm supposed to say thank you. Not necessarily, but the thought is appreciated. Now, let's see how I can help you. You're a little late for that, Daddy. You said you were picked up in San Pedro by an elderly couple. Why did they let you off in Redondo? Because they said they lived nearby. But no one believes me. They all think I'm a murderer. If we find this couple, we'll be able to prove that they're all wrong. Swell. The guy's name was Bill, and I didn't catch her name. That's all I know. In your statement, you said that they were driving a panel station wagon, but you never mentioned the color. Blue, green, I don't know. And you said that they let you off on a corner where later you hitchhiked a ride with this Tony fella. It was my lucky day. Can you give me uh, anything that would uh, give me an idea which corner it is? Park bench, bus stop, traffic lights, they all look the same. Something. Why do I keep remembering donkeys and bulls? I know. There was a guy in one of those corners who was selling uh, those paper animals. Well, that's some place to start. Look, I'm sorry I laid into you like that. I guess things happen. I haven't really given you a chance to tell your side. We'll have to talk about that later. It's a beautiful morning, Barnaby, and driving up and down the Pacific Coast Highway is my second favorite way to spend it, but I don't see an animal in sight. Except maybe for that pretty redhead over there. We'll make one more pass. Barnaby, look at that. No wonder we couldn't find it. He's just opening up. Well, that's one needle. Now all we have to do is cruise up and down this residential haystack until we find the other one.
It is the only green panel station wagon we've seen so far. Barnaby. And didn't Shelley tell you the man's name was Bill? Just a day, I have a feeling we're on a hot roll. Hello? I'm out here. Can I help you? Yes, uh, my name is Barnaby Jones. I'm a private investigator. This is my associate, Jedediah Jones. Oh, my. I've never met a private investigator before. Have I done something wrong? No, ma'am, we're looking for information about a young hitchhiker that you and your husband may have picked up yesterday. A girl named Shelley, about 23. Oh, yes, yes, I, I know who you mean. You remember her? Well, of course. We picked up Shelley in San Pedro. She seemed like such a nice girl. She isn't in any trouble, is she? Not anymore, thank you very much. Oh, is that all? Don't you want to grill my husband, too? I can wake him. Maybe next time. Excuse me, uh, I have these flowers to deliver. Could you tell me which room Miss Barrett is in? Oh, I'll take them to her. Could you see that she gets them right away? They need to be put in water, you know. Is there a card? No, she'll know who they're from. Oh. I'm going to call Lieutenant Biddle Philemon on Shelley's album. Oh, hello. Hi, can I use your phone? Sure. Follow me. It's a pleasure to see you feeling well enough to be up and about again. They say they're going to transfer me out of here in a day or two, over to county jail. I think that's one adventure you're going to miss. We found a couple that gave you the ride. You did? That's great. Did they tell you I was with them? Yes, and just as soon as Lieutenant Biddle sends somebody over there to see them and uh, verifies your alibi, uh, I'm afraid you'll be relieved of the duty of guarding Shelley. Well, that's fine with me. Well, I guess that's it then. I'm okay. Mom's okay. I guess everyone's off the hook. Except me, where you're concerned, right? No. No, it, it's all right. I told you, I understand how things can happen. Look, I never even expected to know my father, let alone have him be an all right guy. Shelley. Look, it's all right, really. The things you've done, sending me the flowers, that says enough for now. I'm sorry, Shelley, but I didn't send you the flowers. Oh. There was no card, so I figured they were from you. I mean, flowers like that cost a lot of money. Yes, they do. Uh... You have no idea who sent them? No. All my friends are as broke as I am. Seems to me people aren't usually so secretive about being considerate. I'll be right back. Okay, thank you, Lieutenant. We'll wait till we hear from you. Bye-bye. How long ago did those flowers from Miss Barrett arrive? Oh, just a minute or so before you got here, Mr. Jones. Who brought them? I oh, excuse me. Then, I think. Did he say uh, what delivery service or who they were from? No. What is it? It's funny, but if that orderly had on sunglasses, he could be the same man. I couldn't tell how badly he was wounded. 
But there is a chance that he might show up in one of the hospitals in the area. Well, it wasn't easy, but I found him. Eddie Pearson in person. Hiya, Barnaby. Well, that's very good news, Lieutenant. I'm sure that Shelley will be glad to hear it. Thank you. They dropped the charges against Shelley? A couple from Redondo backed her story. Good to see you, Eddie. Likewise, pal. What is all this hush-hush stuff? Eddie you wouldn't tell me to what I owe the pleasure. Eddie, what do you know about the narcotics agent who was murdered yesterday? Only what I read in the papers. You still wired into everything that happens in San Pedro? Not like I used to. I need some information. Uh, who runs the uh, cocaine trade down there now? Hey, Barnaby, come on. You know I stay away from the hard stuff. Anyway, those dealers are always being busted. Drug scene's always changing. I need a name, uh, some place to start. Anything at all that would tell me what the narcotics agent was into. Barnaby, you know I can't refuse you nothing. If you want it, you got it, if it can be got. Oh, forget it, pal, I owe you. Are you sure? Well, maybe uh, 10 for expenses. <laughs> See you, folks. Tony? Nothing in that bathroom or the kitchen. How come you don't keep any bandages in this dump? God, what happened? You're hurt. No bandages, no antiseptics, oh, nothing. Let me look at that. Oh, poor baby. It's all right. You could get blood poisoning or something. I'm going to call a doctor. No. No. A doctor's have to report things like this to the cops. Uh, forget it. What do the cops have to do with... I said forget it. It's just a scratch. Tony, don't shut me out. Tell me what happened. Uh, I had a run-in with some people I owe some money to. I mean, these are real heavy dudes. And if, uh... I go to the cops, they'll really blow me away next time. Tony, what are we gonna do? Come on, it's late. You should get to the club. But what if these people come after you again? Oh, we'll figure that out later. Now, you be a good soldier, get on over the club, and act like nothing's happening. <laughs> but, Tony... Now, do I look worried? So don't you worry. Go on. There. Do the eyes seem better now? Well, like I said, Barnaby and I really didn't get a good look at him. The only time I saw him close, he was wearing sunglasses. Barnaby, this is what the police artist has been able to come up with so far. Mm -hmm. There's a man you hitched a ride with? It's kind of close. Can you make a copy as soon as I get back to headquarters? Oh, wait a minute, isn't there a photocopy machine in the building? There's one down the hall. I'll show you. Thank you. I'll be right with you. Well, how does it feel to be a free woman? Free? The guard's still here. She just went out to get a cup of coffee. Lieutenant Biddle is keeping her on as a precaution. That fellow's still out there, you know. You need anything? Nothing, except... Except what? Well, I don't know what to call you. I feel funny calling my own father, Mr. Jones. Shelley, when your mother started telling you about me, did she ever mention that I had been married before we met? No, she didn't. I met your mother shortly after my wife died. Your mother was very understanding, and I needed that. We all need someone to talk to sometimes. And after a while, Marie realized that I wasn't ready for another relationship. She gave me love and sympathy, and I just gave her my pain. Is that why you left us? What I'm trying to say is that things were not that serious between your mother and me. But you must have loved her once. For a little while, I mean, I'm here, aren't I? Try to understand that we didn't know each other that well. And then your mother got the job up north, and, uh, and uh, she left Los Angeles for good. But you kept on writing to her. I read the letters. Yes, we corresponded for a time. And then one day she wrote that uh, she had found someone. I think she said he was in the Merchant Marine. Oh, sailor? 
That's a beaut. Look, I told you, it's all right. I can get along just fine without a father. Only just stop lying to me about it. Shelley, I like you. And when you like someone, you have to be honest with them. I'm not your father. I don't want to hear you lying to me anymore. I just don't, I don't want to hear it. Stop it! Just stop lying to me like that! Something wrong? Tell him to leave. Tell him to get out. Just a minute, please. I'll see if I can get him. Oh, Mr. Jones. It's for you. Yes? Barnaby. Hi, Eddie. Just dropped by to fill you guys in on my travels to San Pedro. You come up with something? The best I could do is Harry Coyle. Right now, he seems to be Mr. Big in the South Bay area. Where do I find him? I'm supposed to hang out at a, a little joint down there called the Red Crow Bar. The way that I feel You made it so For I'll always love you Nothing can change The way that I feel Howdy, Phyllis. What do you want to hear? Well, we have a request, but it's not for a song. This man, uh, look familiar to you? No, I've never seen him before. Take another look. Can't help you. You sure? Listen, man, I don't have that many fans, and that guy isn't one of them. What's this all about, anyway? Well, if you don't know him, it wouldn't interest you. Well, she certainly sings better than she lies. Yes. Let's drop by Lieutenant Biddles, see if the police have anything on her. Hey. I was just going to call you. Those two, what they want? They wouldn't say except that they were looking for you. Did you tell them anything? No, of course not. Good girl. They're the ones, aren't they? The ones that shot you. Yeah, that's them. Only it wasn't about owing the money. It was about Shelly, who, whoever she is. What do you know about her? You wrote her name on your pad and also the number of a hospital. What does she have to do with all this? Well... She's a girl I went with before I latched on to you. She was in an accident yesterday and ended up in the hospital. I, I don't get the connection. Well, her family's big in the syndicate. They think it's my fault. Tell me. We gotta pack up and get out of town right away. Well, there's somebody coming back from a trip tomorrow. If I can't get this thing straightened out by then, maybe we'll have to. Shelly, please be reasonable. I'm not under arrest anymore, am I? No, but that man tried to get at you once. Now, he might try again. I don't care what happens to him. You can tell anyone who wants to know. I just don't care.
Barnaby Jones Investigations, may I help you? Hello, Betty. Uh, anything for the sanitarium since I was there? No, so I called them a few minutes ago. And except for the visit with her mother late last night, she hasn't been back. Did you check at the house again for her? Yeah, I just left there. Uh, what about Jedediah? Was he able to get an address on that girl singer, Ginger Halston? Mm-hmm. And he's gone over to her place now to see if any of the neighbors could recognize the composite drawing. Do you think we should get Lieutenant Biddle to put out an APB on Shelley? We might have to do that, but first I want to have another talk with her mother. You can reach me there. You know the guy, Harry Coyle. He always sits in the back. Oh, he, he's there now? No, I don't want to talk to him. Where the hell have you been? Come on, let's get packed. we got to get out of here. Tony, I thought I could fix things up, but I couldn't. She was already gone. What are you talking about? That old girlfriend of yours. The one that got in the accident. Girlfriend? The one in the hospital? That's where I've been. Are you crazy? I only wanted to help. I, I thought maybe if I could talk to her, if I could plead with her to get her family to call off those killers. Help? You, you probably let them right back here. No, Tony. That's what I'm trying to tell you. She was already gone when I got there. Gone? Gone where? The nurse said that she went home last night. Where's that story? About what? Never mind. Lives in San Pedro. It's the same girl. Tony? Ginger, hi, listen. From what your landlord tells me, you lied to us last night about not knowing this fella. doing in my house? Marie, it's Barnaby. Barnaby? I knew a Barnaby once. They're giving me medicine that mixes me up. It makes me forget things. Dr. Ashley says it's helping you to get well. Excuse me, my daughter has been away, but now she's come home and I have to clean house. That's who I want to talk to you about, Shelley. You know Shelley. Who are you? You look familiar. Try to understand. Shelley is in trouble. I've got to find her. Shelley's a good girl. She's never been in trouble, never. Marie, when Shelley visited you last night, did she say where she was going? Barnaby. Yes. When Shelley was a little girl, the other children used to tease her because she didn't have a father like they did. I used to tell her that wasn't true. Of course she had a father. The dearest, kindest man any little girl could ever hope for. But that was a lie. It was cruel of you to go away and never come back. Where is Shelley now? It's important. Shelley! Shelley! Dear, that girl just doesn't listen anymore. Marie, try to think. When Shelley's frightened, scared of something, is there some special place or person that she goes to? Oh, yes. Where is that? She comes home to me. Mr. Jones, there's a call for you. You can take it right here. Hello? Barnaby, I'm at Ginger Halston's place. Turns out that the guy we're looking for is her boyfriend. His name is Tony Bridger. Did she say where he is? Well, from what I can gather, he's on his way to San Pedro looking for Shelley. Does he know where Shelley lives? He's going to find out soon enough. He tore out the page in the phone book with all the Barrett names on it. Call Biddle, then meet me there. 
Fortunately, Shelley's not home, but if Bridger shows up, I'm going to give him a warm welcome. Of course Shelley's home. Where else would she be? Shelley! Come down here. Your father wants to see you. Shelley upstairs. Didn't you ask me where she goes when she's frightened? Yes, but... The attic? It's her special place. She always goes there when she's afraid. Excuse me, Marie, but I have to get there fast. Dr. Ashley says that your mother is responding so well to the new treatment that she can probably stay here until she's ready to go home. Oh, that's wonderful. And you are going back and finish your last year of college, is that right? Yes. My mother told me about my real father. The sailor. Funny. For a while there, I thought I had a father. Now I don't again. Maybe not, but I think you know that you have found a new friend. And Shelley, a friend, can be uh, anything you want him to be. Thank you. Just thanks. I'll be in touch. Barbie, how'd it go? I think everything is going to be just fine. 